So this is my homepage. I have, my homepage um, has evolved since I started using Canva or Canvas. Um, I've been in different trainings and there's a lot of different philosophies and somebody said something in a um, training that most of our students are uh, accessing Canvas on their phone. So the minimum you can put on there, the simplest you can make it is the easiest for them to point and click. So I change my homepage weekly to match what's happening in the course. I leave, you know, my icon in that this part, but I change it. These are the links to the different modules for this week. And I created these in Canva. So if you click on the start here, it takes you straight there. So I wanted to show you Canva. Um, it's free to use. I have upgraded the subscription because I use it so much. Um, but these are all my designs. I use banners on my, in my, um, on my pages and I color coordinate my classes because I often have students in taking two different classes with me. So my 101 class is always green. My 141 class is blue. My music and motor class is purple. So I, so if they get lost, um, cause they're clicking around, they'll know where they are. So these are some of the ones I've created. This is an Etsy banner. Um, there are templates you can use. Um, I stole this stationary template to make my uh, discussion. All my discussion uh, pages have that on there. Um, I'm gonna flip through these really quick, but you can import these. So I'm gonna show you, they're really easy to import. Um, you just download it. You create it, choose the one you want to download. Um, it really doesn't matter which one. It'll start downloading. You always get this cute little quote while you're downloading so you know that it's working. Um, I use a Mac, so um, it makes a difference. <laughs> For those of you, Mac is a little funky. If you haven't figured it out, you can't use um, Safari with Canvas on your Mac. So they don't play well together. So you're gonna need another browser. Um, I think with everybody, all the bandwidth coming on, this is taking a minute. So we'll just pretend that I did that. Um, and I opened up a blank page here. So I go over, so I'm gonna start a page. I go over to my images. There's a lot of ways you can do this. Um, you browse your um, downloads and it's going to take, I have a, so what I'm working off of right now is a very small laptop with a double, another screen behind it. So that's why it's a little slow. It's not very powerful. And it downloads as a banner. And I just go through, find the banner. When I get finished, click on the one I want open it and you want to make sure that you do the alternative text here this is for readers so you want to make sure that you put that in there um, this one is accepting canvas which it's not going to do see i want you guys to see that even uh your buddies have problems with stuff um, and I know I spelled it wrong, so don't tell me about that. Uh, so it just uploads it in there. Um, this accessing canvas changes color depending on what I'm doing. Um, the page would be the same, so I can find it. And you just save it. I, the other thing you want to do, which I just forgot to do, I'm sorry, I know, let me find it is when you put in a banner, you want to indicate what it is. Um, it comes up automatically as a paragraph, but for accessibility, you want to indicate what it actually is on the page. And these types of things are always header too. Um, and when you're making pages, make sure you're going down with this and that's just part of the text. So um, that's, that's it. That's all my presentation. I don't have anything 
as exciting as everyone else. I just wanted you to see that you can update your um, your courses. I can show you a couple online. They look like this. This is my welcome video. Um, I stole Katie's idea of doing um, Adobe Spark. It was my first choice. It was my first time to do that. So um, that's it.